Hey, this is Kenneth, and today I'm going to show you my very crude, discrete component analog to digital converter I built. So, an analog to digital converter, um, there are many different options, but mine is a basic tracking one. So, it consists of three major components. We have the analog input to a comparator. The comparator is then compares this analog signal to this digital signal, which I've then converted back to analog using an R to R ladder. So, each bit of my digital signal gets converted through two resistors and then one resistor of the equal value all the way up which then gives you the binary weighting of your normal binary numbers into an analog value. So this is essentially a digital to analog converter which this DAC is compared to the analog input. This comparator then decides whether we are here too high or too low versus the analog input. That feeds back into this counter and this is a 555 as, um, wired up as just a clock generator. So this is a 555. This is a 74191 which is a 4-bit up down counter. And then this is just an you know linear tech comparator although any comparator would work here. So plugging it in we have here the clock so you can see I have it set fairly slow right now. And then we have two LEDs over here, up and down. The comparator in the input right now is set at about middle. And so as this counter counts up, the comparator keeps saying we're too low. So in a minute, it should eventually. So right now we're at 8, 9, 10, and you can see that 10 is above the analog input because the analog input's a little bit kind of about at the middle. And so now this analog digital converter will sit there and just cycle between a, too high and too low of this value. Um, actual intelligent and good analog digital converters will do various things such as sample the input and then start at zero and count up to it and then say here is your final value or it will sample the input hold it and then set or reset the first bit, set or reset the next bit, set or reset the next bit, and it would obviously be quite a bit faster than this. Um, but we can see that as we turn the clock speed up, uh, it's going to track it more, more closely, and if we change the input value, turn it down, the counter is going to count down to whatever value this is. And then if we turn the analog input up, it's going to count up to it. Now, while it's counting, if we change it, um, that obviously kind of confuses the analog digital converter, which is why real analog digital converters have a sample and hold circuitry in it. But this kind of gives you the general sense of how an analog digital converter is really a digital to analog converter, a comparator, and this control loop as it goes around, and why analog to digital conversions take some finite amount of time. So real basic intro, um, obviously they get a lot more complicated but at that point they don't fit on one 2x3 piece of perf board. Uh, enjoy!